This is by far the most unique budget mechanical keyboard I have ever seen. This keyboard costs less than $50, and for that price you get blue switches, a metal chassis, backlighting, a steampunk aesthetic, and this really interesting knob by the right, which serves a couple of unique purposes. This is the All of Fireshock V5, and as the name suggests, it definitely did hand me quite the shock. It's got the cyberpunk aesthetic with the chrome rimmed keycaps, and it kind of looks like an old school typewriter, which I find very cool. Now, I'm not going to get too technical with this video as I'm not a mechanical keyboard expert, but for those who really care about the details, here you go. This keyboard connects to your PC via USB-A, and it has a nice braided nylon cable, which is about 1.6 six meters long. It is made of plastic at the bottom and the main chassis is made of metal. It does flex a little if twisted but nothing major. It's a full-sized keyboard with about 104 keys including the numpad and all of those keys are mechanical with KRGD or MX blue switches which are quite loud so if you're a fan of clickety clackety keys this keyboard is for you. The keys on the function row also double as multimedia keys if you hold down the function key. And if you want to hear just how good this keyboard sounds, stay tuned for the dedicated typing test. There are plastic feet at the bottom to assist in elevating the keyboard and a wrist rest, which looks like leather but is actually plastic. It is not the most comfortable, but it gets the job done. Seeing as this is a gaming keyboard, there has to be some sort of RGB lighting. Unfortunately, these are just stagnant dedicated LEDs, so you can't really change what part of the keyboard each color shows on. However, the keyboard does have a lot of different lighting combinations. You can cycle through over 10 different lighting combinations by pressing the dial at the top right corner while the lights are turned on. You can also change the lighting styles via the desktop app. If you rotate the dial, you can reduce or increase the brightness of the lights. This knob also serves another function when the light is turned off, and that is to control the volume of your computer. Rotating the knob left or right increases or decreases your volume respectively, and pressing down on it mutes your computer. But now that we've covered most of what this keyboard has to offer, let's get right into the typing test. But before we do that, if you've been enjoying the video, then please hit that like and subscribe button so the YouTube algorithm doesn't send me to the doom dimension. Thanks. As you can tell, the keys on this keyboard are quite loud and they do give you that clickety clackety sound like I mentioned earlier, but if you're a keyboard enthusiast then you're going to definitely notice that these are not the most premium keys out there. They are cheap and they do certainly feel like it at times. Here's a sample of what some Gatoron red switches sound like on my new keyboard, the Keychron K7. My experience typing on the All of Fireshock V5 has been largely positive, however I do have a couple of complaints. The keyboard comes with both English and Cyrillic letters, but only the English letters are lit up by the backlight, meaning you can't use the Cyrillic letters in a dark environment or at night. Some keys seem poorly stabilized as they move around and rattle at the slightest touch. This is common with the larger keys like the spacebar, enter, and shift keys. The spacebar also started sticking a bit after a few months, but I figured it just needed some cleaning and everything was back to normal after that. My main complaint is surprisingly the size. I was using the real L8710 TKL, which is a much smaller keyboard for over a year before this, and I wasn't expecting the adjustment curve to be this drastic. Or maybe I'm just a terrible typist. But after using this keyboard for a while, I really wish there was a 65% or TKL version of this keyboard. But for those who love full-sized keyboards and need a numpad, and even if you don't, this is one of the best looking and most functional budget keyboards that you can get, as it comes in at about $50, which is quite a steal. But let me know what you think about this keyboard in the comment section right below the like button, and let me know what keyboard you're using as well. If you enjoyed this video then please make sure to subscribe. My name is Johannes, this is Tech PhD, and I'll catch you in one of the videos showing on your screen right now. Happy New Year's and peace.